brand new from Armor, we have the 6S EXB 1.8 scale Creighton, and this thing looks absolutely awesome. This is gonna be a big update from the previous version EXB. They've got a lot of new parts here. Looks like they've really been listening to the customers, and I'm really excited to see how well this thing works. On the surface, this looks very similar to the previous version, but it's what they've done underneath that really matters. We've got a new paint job on the body, and I think that looks really, really nice. They always do really well on their paint jobs. But looking underneath that body, we've got a new power system. It's the same motor as before, but we've got an updated ESC. This is a Firma 150 V2. And other than just being a different color, they've done some new programming here that appears to have really beefed it up. And hopefully this isn't something we're gonna have to just change out right away. Like a lot of people felt like we had to in the previous version of this ESC. That ESC and motor are gonna be able to push this car up to 65 miles an hour. And I believe that because when Arma says their vehicles can do a certain speed, they can usually do that speed. That motor is gonna be connected to a similar looking motor mount from the previous version. That motor mount's gonna house an EXB center differential. And one of the really exciting updates is attached to that. That is this two part brace system. The original version had a single piece brace running through the middle that didn't connect to the center transmission. And that was actually a bit of a weak point. If you had a hard enough hit, you could bend that center brace. This new version attaches to the front, the middle and the rear, just like on the 8S versions and on some other vehicles that have come out recently. And that really strengthens the system up. And I think that's gonna mean a lot fewer replacements of these braces. What I'm really excited about though, is what those braces attach to in the front and rear. And that's these new beautiful red anodized bulkheads that we've never seen before from Arma. I'm very excited to get my hands on these and see how they work. These bulkheads have been a fairly common upgrade for pretty much anybody doing an extreme build because the plastic bulkheads do tend to break. They are definitely a weak point. Attached to those, we've got the 7075 shock towers. These looks very similar to the previous ones. I don't think they've made any changes to them. Moving out from that, we've got the same 6S shocks that we've seen for many years. They do say they have EXP shock caps and those shock caps do look a little bit beefed up, but we'll have to see when we get our hands on those to see just how much better they are. I never really had too many problems with the stock shock caps, but beefing something up is always a good thing. Arms, turnbuckles, and steering mostly looks the same. However, they have updated the servo saver. They're calling this a new sliding servo saver. And this is something that's needed to be done for a long time because their previous servo saver wasn't very good. Anytime you upgraded the servo, you were gonna be overwhelming that servo saver. And I think an update to that has been a long time coming and it's great to see it in this car. We've got EXB differentials in the front and rear. We've got that EXB basher front bumper. Of course, the 7075 EXB chassis, the EXB upper hinge pins, and a few other nice 7075 bits and pieces throughout the chassis. So what do you guys think about this? Are you excited about these updates? Were you hoping to see more? There's some good updates in here, but again, this is not a full refresh of the system, but they have made changes that people have been asking for for a long time. I can't wait to get my hands on one of these, and I can't wait to see you in this next video.